Hello everybody. Today we will discuss a case of a 12 year old boy who presented to the neurological OPD with upward gaze palsy and MRI brain was advised as a part of workup. This child has upward gaze palsy and this is a axial post contrast MRI image which was done after gadolinium administration. Let us you know get oriented to this image and see how to evaluate this case. This is a T1 weighted post contrast MRI image. So when you look at this image, if you appreciate, you can appreciate dilatation of both lateral ventricles and third ventricle appears ballooned out and there is a homogeneously enhancing mass in the posterior part of the third ventricle. So what, what do we think of it? What, what is our diagnosis right now? We are thinking of a homogeneously enhancing posterior third ventricular mass with obstructive hydrocephalus which we are seeing. We do not see any other pathology in this image and we look at the sagittal image now. What do we see? Now if you look at the sagittal image, this is again a T1 post contrast sagittal image. If you look at this image carefully, what you will see is, you will see there is some enhancement here but you will see that tumor again. It is in the posterior part of the third ventricle, homogeneously enhancing below the splenium of the corpus callosum, what organ do we have here? What, what pathology do you think it is? It is a pineal tumor. Whenever we say, whenever we say posterior third ventricular tumor, we think of pineal origin mass. Now think which is the most common pineal region tumor that you know of? Germinoma or germ cell tumor. Now what we have studied in our medical school so far, we have studied the germ cell tumors are mostly located in gonads. But we need to know germ cell tumors can be extra gonadal as well. They can occur anywhere in the midline in the body. Most common site of extra gonadal germ cell tumor being thorax in the mediastinum. But in the brain, if you see germ cell tumor, it is mostly located in the posterior part of the third ventricle in the region of pineal. So this is a pineal tumor. So why did the child have upward gaze palsy in this case? Now what I want you to understand here is I want you to see the anatomy here so that we can form the final diagnosis in this child. This is a midline sagittal gross anatomy image which will tell us something about this case. This is the corpus callosum, this is the posterior part splenium, this is the fornix, area of the septum pellucidum, area of the thalamus, this is the optic recess of the third ventricle, infundibular recess, this is the optic chiasma, pituitary and midbrain, aqueduct of sylvius. This is the posterior part of the midbrain which is the cordigeminal plate which is the superior and inferior colliculi. This is also called as the tectal plate and this is the pineal gland. Now think of a pineal tumor like we were discussing just now, a germ cell tumor of the pineal. Which anatomical structure will it compress if it grows? Now think of it, it will compress the tectal plate leading to the upward gaze palsy. This has been called as a syndrome called as Perinod, P-A-R-I-N-A-U-D, Perinod syndrome. Now do you understand this? Now think of it again and see the sagittal image. Sagittal image. Now can you see the tumor compressing the tectal plate of the midbrain leading to upward gaze palsy. This is called as Perinod syndrome. This is germ cell tumor of the pineal area or the posterior third ventricle. Thank you.